everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a different type of video. I've, I don't think I've ever done a video quite like this, but I thought it would be fun to go through these because it's been a while since I have gone through these and I've never gone through these with you guys. So what we're going to do today is I, as I drink teas, especially like if I have sample sizes or smaller sizes, if it's a tea that I do not have in my collection, and it's something that I really, really like and want to repurchase, I actually throw the empty envelope into a basket. If I, like there's a lot of times that I'll, t I'll try teas and it's like, oh, that's good, I would buy that again. But it's not, it's not like one of those things where I'm like, I have to buy it. So those a lot of times just get thrown away. But the ones that really, really stand out to me and are really amazing, get put in the basket. So I have not gone through this basket. I bet it's been close to a year. I've just been kind of like throwing things in here. So we're going to go through this basket. Uh, I'm curious to see if I've actually repurchased any of these teas yet. And also I'm looking to see like just to kind of have like a brain refresh as far as like what I do still need to buy. So let's do this. So right off the rip, I have one tea tin in here. And this is the David's Tea Organic David's Chai. This I remember being amazing as like a chai latte. Oh yeah, and you smell it and you just know. Oh my gosh, yeah. See that, I think, I if I remember correctly, this was, there was this and one other, which the other should be in here, I would think, were, ended up being my two favorite chais to make stovetop chai with. This was amazing as a stovetop chai. So definitely, definitely need to order like a very big size of that. Next up is the dessert tea collection from Simpson and Bale. This is the baklava black tea. Oh my gosh, this was amazing. It had like, it. I wouldn't say that this tasted like baklava, but what this did taste like was it had like a very, like honeyish flavor, but then it also had the addition of cloves, which took it over the top for me. It was amazing. It's, I believe, a black tea. Yes, back baklava black tea. So the ingredients are black tea, organic cloves, natural flavoring, sweet blackberry leaf, rose petals, and marigold petals. This was incredible. I definitely want to get the full size of this. Along the same lines is another one from the dessert tea collection from Simpson and Vale. And this was the Caramel Walnut Shortbread Rooibos Herbal. This was another one that was amazing. It was caffeine free, which I loved. So this is something that I could enjoy right before bed and it wouldn't keep me up. But with this, you had, like you could taste like the butteriness of a shortbread, but then you could also taste that caramely walnut flavor also. It was so amazingly good. So this is definitely another one that needs to be repurchased. Let's see. Okay, we're getting into some tea bags. Okay, and these, okay, so now I know for a fact I haven't looked through this and it's been a year because these were from my Republic of Tea advent calendar from last year. So this is the uh, Republic of Tea Comfort and Joy. Okay, and this one is fine black tea, cinnamon, natural flavors, cloves, licorice root, and apple pieces. This tea, if you are familiar with Bigelow's um, Constant Comment, it's like an orange spice tea, which I always associate that with Christmas time, like that orange spice flavor. So it's, it's you know, you've got your orange, and then you have your cloves, and your cinnamon, and your nutmeg. This is basically that tea without the orange. So it's a black tea, but it still has those spices. And it is, oh my gosh, so good. And it's it's just very Christmassy. For me, I don't know why that flavor I associate with Christmas, but I maybe it's because I've been drinking that Bigelow Constant Comment since I was probably eight years old. And I just associate it with Christmas. So I mean, obviously, this is a Christmas tree or a Christmas tea because it's comfort and joy. So apparently, I'm not the only one that associates those like spices and flavors with Christmas. But this was fantastic. This one is the Republic of Tea Hibiscus. Um, this was the pineapple lychee or lychee. 
And I remember enjoying this iced during uh, Vlogmas last year. And yeah, it says pineapple and delicate, delicately sweet lychee sing with the flavors of warm Asian islands. Yes, this was like a very tropical tea, but it's caffeine free, I want to say, isn't it? Yes, caffeine free, heart healthy, and Afri African blossoms. So this was actually very, very good. Um, again, this is one I probably should repurchase before summer because I did enjoy this iced and it was so amazing. It was like, usually hibiscus can be very tart. And I remember this one being very sweet, probably because of that pineapple in there. So definitely a good one. And if you're not a fan of the tartness of the hibiscus, you can drink that and it's not overly tart, but still you can get the benefits of the hibiscus. This is another one that was just amazing to me. This was the Republic of Teas, the Peppermint Bark. This one impressed me because a lot of times you will have peppermint teas and the peppermint is overwhelming. Like, you know, it'll be like a, a peppermint white chocolate tea, but you don't really taste the white chocolate because the peppermint is just so dominating. This was one that it was so perfectly balanced. It literally tasted like peppermint bark. So it had like that peppermint candy type of a flavor, but then it also had like the creamy kind of sweet vanilla flavors of like the almond bark type candy. It was so amazingly good. So this is another one I definitely want to repurchase. This one is surprising to me actually that it's in here. But I do remember really, really liking this. But now that I'm sitting here, I'm like, how is this possible? Let me open this so I can sniff it. Yeah, it's okay. So through drinking a lot of teas, I have found I am not usually a big fan of lavender being added to my tea unless it's very very mellow i'm just not a floral tea type of a person but this one is very very potent lavender it's almost like drinking straight lavender and for some reason this was such a cozy and relaxing tea this is the tiesta tea relaxer and it's the lavender chamomile and it has chamomile, lemongrass, blue mallow, and lavender. When you drink this, it is very, very much lavender. And for some reason, I loved this tea. It was just, it was one of those teas that like, you sit there and you sip it and like you smell the lavender and you're like not sure if you're enjoying a tea or if you're like doing a facial steam because it's like, I don't know, it was so good. And that's so out of character for me. Generally, if someone gives me a tea and it's strong on the lavender, I'm not going to like it. Like I said, if it, if there's like a hint in there, it's okay. Like for example, um, Stash Tea's Breakfast in Paris, that has lavender in it, but it's very muted. It's very mellow. You don't really, like when you take a sip of that tea, you don't really get slapped in the face with lavender. It's more of like an undertone. And I love that tea, but usually, yeah, like if it's very like obviously lavender I'm not a fan but this is like almost straight lavender and it's amazing next we have Harney and Sons decaf vanilla Camoro this is a really really good black tea with vanilla and it's a very it's not a fake vanilla it's very much like a true vanilla like it if you opened up like a vanilla bean and added it to a black tea. But what I really love about this is that it is decaf. So if I'm in the mood for a black tea at night, I can have a black tea at night and it's really, really good. It doesn't taste like a decaf tea. A lot of times you'll taste a tea and it's decaf and you can definitely tell that it's decaf. With this one, you can't. It tastes just like, you know, straight black tea. And then that true vanilla flavor is very cozy and comforting. So I love this tea. This was another one that was amazing. Um, this is from Tea Motions. And this is the Have Hope Peppermint Cream. And this is another one that it tasted, it was like so perfectly balanced with that kind of vanilla and then the peppermint. It says... 
Um, okay, and it says, with St. John's wort, holy basil, and oat straw to help relieve worry and angst, blended with peppermint, roasted chicory root, and sweet white chocolate curls. It's honestly, it's a very, very similar to the Republic of Tea's peppermint bark, but this one, the Republic of Tea does not have the St. John's wort and all of that for stress. So I really, really liked that, especially as someone who does have like anxiety and things and gets stressed very easily. This was so fantastic. Oh, this is one. I need to place an order from this company because I don't have any teas from them in my collection at this point. And I feel like that is really, really sad because they have so many amazing teas. And this is the Plum Deluxe Tea Company. This one is the Porch Sippin' Pecan Black Tea. Oh my gosh. This tea, number one, the black tea base is just amazing. Like it is a very good black tea. Sometimes you'll get tea companies and, and I'm not necessarily always against this, like sometimes it's good, but you'll get, you know, like a black tea and there's definitely, you can almost feel like a film or like a bitterness that's left on your tongue after drinking it. This tea was not that way. Their black tea is just so like pure and clean tasting. And then it actually has pieces of pecans in there, which something about that clean pure black tea and then that nuttiness of the pecan it is so so good it's black tea cinnamon chips pecan pieces pecan essence safflower i honestly don't taste much of the cinnamon in this it's it's more that black tea and the pecan and it just it makes for such a like cozy cup oh my gosh it is so so good and actually now that i'm thinking about it there should be another tea Okay, I don't have it in here, but another one by them that I know is absolutely incredible and I need to repurchase. It was the, I want to say it was like almond sugar cookie and it's a decaf tea and it is probably the best sugar cookie tea I've ever tasted from any company. So keep that in mind too. Next up, we have Dominion Tea. This is the orange popsicle. This tastes just like an orange creamsicle. It is amazing. When you open this bag up, it smells like an orange creamsicle. It is amazing. So amazing. Oh my gosh. Like it seriously does. It just transports me to summertime. So the ingredients in this are black tea, organic green tea, white chocolate, organic orange peel, and organic natural flavor. It is amazing and just like i was talking about like plum deluxe's almond sugar cookie being the best sugar cookie tea i've ever tried this is the best orange creamsicle tea i have ever tried it is so good it's not like overly tart with that like the orange peel or anything it's like a nice sweet creamy orange oh it's amazing also from dominion is the blueberry pancakes which is black tea dried blueberries calendula and flavor again amazing amazing black tea with blueberry and it's not tart it's like a sweet blueberry so it is it i mean it truly is kind of like a blueberry pancake now if i'm remembering so let me sniff this it says blueberry pancake i don't remember yeah i don't think this one has like a maple flavor to it though because when you think of traditionally like blueberry pancakes you would you would think of that addition of maple i'm not smelling the maple and i don't remember this having maple it was more like straight like almost more like blueberry muffin without like cinnamon or anything it is amazing Another one from Dominia is the Masala Chai Organic. This is the other chai that made the most amazing stovetop chai. This has organic Indian black tea, organic cinnamon, organic ginger, organic cardamom, organic cloves, organic peppercorns, and natural flavor. It was such a great stovetop chai. So if you are into that, definitely look into that one. Oh, this is very interesting. Okay, so this is from Adagio Teas, and this is the Roibus Pecan Turtle, which is absolutely amazing, 
amazing. This is an, I think a rooibos, yes. A rooibos tea, apple pieces, cocoa nibs, cinnamon, dark chocolate chips, chicory, golden pecan flavor, caramel flavor, and chocolate flavor and marigold flowers. This is amazing and it truly does taste like a turtle. And it smells like a turtle. But the funny thing about this is, okay, I can I can reach it. I can actually reach it and show you. I did get a full size of this. So this one I can actually throw out. Yes, that is an amazing tea. Next up, we have the dessert tea collection from Simpson and Vale. Can you guys tell I like the kind of like desserty teas? Uh, and this is the blueberry cinnamon crumble rooibos herbal. And where is it? Oh, here it is. I can actually get rid of this one because I also have the full size of that. That is a, oh my gosh, this is another one. When you drink this hot, oh my gosh, it literally smells like a blueberry crumble. Like you can smell the, like almost like the oat type smell. You can smell the cinnamon. You've got the like little bit of tart blueberries. Oh my gosh, it is so good. This is a really, really good one. So glad that can be out of there. Oh, this is a good one too. Okay, Stash Tea. This is their Jamaican Butter Rum. Oh my goodness. It is a black tea and it has that like, almost like butterscotch, like that buttery rum. Well, you guys know the Butter Rum Lifesavers that like, they're like everybody's favorite. That's what this tastes like with black tea. It is so good. It's very like warm and cozy, but then it's also very tropical. Oh my goodness. This is such a good one. Definitely need to order that soon. That's one that I really, really like for like springtime when it's still cold outside, but you're like so ready for summer. That's a really, really good cup. Uh, I have the Bigelow Earl Grey Black Tea. Okay, so this is a really good black tea or a really good Earl Grey if you don't like an in-your-face bergamot. This reminds me a lot of uh, Twining's Lady Grey. It's definitely bergamot, but then it almost has like citrus undertones that are not so heavy on the bergamot. So this was really, really good. And I think what's nice about this is you can find this in pretty much any grocery store. And it's very, very inexpensive. Okay, this is the Celestial Seasonings Black Cherry Berry. This is fantastic as an iced tea. I actually can drink this completely unsweetened when I put it over ice. It reminds me of like a cherry pie or something. Like it's it's like cherry pie filling, I guess. It's oh, so amazingly good. I don't think I cared for this hot though, but iced it was amazing. Dominion Tea, the Petite Gray. Okay, so this is kind of like that Bigelow Earl Gray or like the Twinings Lady Gray. The Petite Gray is an Earl Gray, but it's not an in-your-face bergamot flavor. So this is more of your mellow Earl Gray, which I, I generally, I tend to prefer that. Like I do have some Earl Grays that have a pretty strong bergamot that I will drink, but generally when they're like an in-your-face bergamot, those are the ones that I prefer to make um, like a London Fog or, or like a like an Earl Grey Latte with. Um, if I'm just drinking it like straight with no cream or anything, I prefer, you know, like the more mellow ones. This is organic black tea, orga organic lemongrass, organic essential lemon and bergamot oil, organic lemon peel and organic orange peel. So it does have the bergamot in there, but it also has that lemon and orange to kind of mellow out the bergamot a little bit. Very, very good. The Dominion chocolate chai. And now I'm stunned, not stunned. I'm confused. I don't remember this. I There's another tea company that I tried, their cocoa chai, but I don't remember Dominion's for some reason. But it's in here, so it must have been amazing. I wonder if I did this as a stove top. Oh, it smells nice. <laughs> I must have liked it. See, this is... <laughs> This is very interesting. And I remember this was also um, something that we did 
during vlogmas last year i must have done this like as a stovetop chai because i don't remember it but it's in the basket the next one is also a dominion tea and i do remember this one this is the luden raspberry truffle this is i believe this is a black tea yes this is a black tea and it has like raspberry and chocolate flavor and it is amazing it literally tastes like a candy in a cup so the ingredients are organic black tea organic cacao nibs organic raspberry leaf raspberry drooplets natural and artificial flavoring this was amazing there i don't it's i don't think there's many companies that do a chocolate raspberry i guess right off the top of my head i know of one and that's adagio they do what is it even called I think this is yeah the ripe for romance this is also a black tea with chocolate and raspberry and it's very very good um but this one is more muted i think whereas this dominion one the luden raspberry truffle is very much like you there will be no mistake when you taste this you taste the chocolate you taste the raspberry it's nice and sweet it's just a good solid chocolate raspberry tea so this is another one that i want like the biggest bag of because it was so good next up we have the honey bush banana nut from adagio teas okay i don't have this one yet i was like did i get this one but that was a different one okay so this ended up um beating out the david's tea banana nut bread like by far for me this one is not as heavy this one is honey bush tea, apple pieces, cinnamon bark, cocoa nibs, natural banana flavor, natural chestnut flavor, and marigold flowers. It truly does taste like a banana nut bread. It smells like a banana nut bread, but then it doesn't have that heaviness. The David's tea one, like it was thick. And if you've never tried it, like I don't know how to even explain that. Like, but literally it was like thick. Like when you brewed it, I, it had to have been like, the banana puree or something it turned it into it was almost like the consistency of like a heavy hot cocoa like it i mean thick this one doesn't do this it is a very very light on your tongue um it's not like you don't drink this and feel like full afterwards whereas with the david's tea one like i would literally drink it and i felt like i almost like drank a smoothie or something so love this one and then the very last tea in here is from Just Add Honey Tea Company, and this is their Not Coffee. This was incredible. This is one that kind of surprised me when I tried it because I, I didn't know if I would like it, but I ended up loving it. It smells like coffee. It tastes like coffee, but it's caffeine-free, and it doesn't have any coffee in it. It's cacao husk tea. So the ingredients are cacao husks, cinnamon, roasted chicory root, um, roasted dandelion, and cacao nibs. So obviously the chicory in this and then the roasted dandelion, that's going to give you kind of the, the roasted bitter flavor that usually you get in coffee. But then the cacao husks and the cocoa nibs like round it out and it just makes it such a pleasant cup so this is one that i would drink in the evenings if i was in the mood for coffee and not only was i not having the caffeine but i was also giving my body healthy things that roasted dandelion root is actually really really good for you so yeah this was just a win-win for me i loved this tea definitely need to purchase a larger size Okay, so that is everything that's in the basket. I'll, like I said, there's other teas that, you know, I will try and I'll be like, oh, that's really good. I, you know, I need to get more of that. Or there may be teas in my collection that I really, really like, but I'm, I still have them. So they haven't made it to the basket because I'm not out of them. These are literally all teas that are not even in my collection at this point because I'm out of them. So let me know about down below if there are any teas like this that you have that you don't currently have in your collection, but they're amazing teas that you know that you need to repurchase soon. I would love to know what you guys have on your wish list. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit, and I will see you next time.